All right, Bitcoin Cash thought leaders, the uh, the reckoning is continuing. <laughs> I'm gonna set more. I'm gonna set more shit straight to to straighten you guys all out because you're really confused. And uh, we're gonna break it down and keep it real simple so that everybody can uh, think for themselves and uh, think and take action for themselves. And uh, so this is a very quick talk about agorism versus anarchy and why I definitely prefer agorism. Uh, not, definitely, not, not absolutely by the strictest definition, but the reason why uh, agorism is, is a workable thing is because um, by creating a counter, a counter uh, market, beneath the state market or beneath the, uh, the main market, um, an individual can remain productive. And even though he's protesting against the greater majority of the group or race or species that he belongs to, he still, in order to change that group, he has to work in co-motion uh, still with that group. Um, within the framework of the greater majority, okay? And uh, unfortunately, that can be uh, pretty frustrating uh, for some time and versus the anarchist or the libertarian, okay? Um, who are just basically lazy. Uh, they just don't, they just believe, hey, I don't wanna, I don't wanna have an authority uh, of any kind, which is actually a fair philosophy. Um, but if you really take a look at, at anarchists, you'll see that they have very little production. They're all talk, no do, and uh, I, think, I think I'm seeing that the, uh, the anarchists are probably in control of Bitcoin Cash. Now, for example, an anarchist that I think is very highly productive is uh, Roger Ver. Very highly productive. So there are, I think, like the with the anarchist class, you have um, a few guys who are super ultra productive, uh, and then where the majority of the anarchists are actually just trying to avoid working. Because, you know, when you have an unpleasant amount of work to confront, you need a good excuse or a good solid weakness or complaint. So that people, when people ask you, say, well, dude, you're complaining a lot, but why aren't you really, why don't you get out there and change the world? You need a good reason. You need a really good excuse that you can really use and you can say, it's because the state, because the state won't let me produce. And meanwhile, he sits back and smokes his drugs and uh, goes off into La La Land and escapes out of the, out of the society. and. And, and actually is contributing very, very little. Now, uh, I, okay, sorry, phone ringing. <laughs>